video what is going on YouTube it's your boy Denali aka Don Squally back at y'all with another Forza Horizon 3 video this is the actual acceleration of this Corvette just to let you guys know that's uh pretty pretty ridiculous but in today's video obviously we have another request today's request comes from Brandon Gallagher on YouTube and he wants to see the new Chevy SS fully upgraded. Now for those of you guys who do not know what the Chevy SS is, it's basically a USDM uh, Holden Commodore. Now you guys know that GM has a nice little partnership with Holden and uh, they share a lot of the same platforms. Uh, most recently the Chevy SS here now I'm not even going to check out any of the other people's designs I want this to be completely original this time around let's start out with this nice candy red shall we so for the, those of you guys who are new to the channel and don't know how it works man I upload seven videos and we take one request per video and that basically up uh, determines the next weeks worth of uploads so if you guys have a request drop it down in the comments section and uh you know i'm trying my best to get to everybody but i have to say man this channel is growing uh beyond my wildest expectations so i just want to say thank you to all the loyal viewers and people who are steady making these requests man the channel would not be here without you and i sincerely mean that uh but with that being said, I think it's about time that we got into this build. So first and foremost, you guys know how we do it. We like to get into the upgrade shop first and foremost. I'm going to check out some of the motor options here. V10, V12, no thank you. I think we're going to be rocking with a 6 point, looks like a 6.2 liter. I was going to say a 6 liter, so I wasn't that far off. Drivetrain, obviously we're going to have to leave this rear wheel drive because I've Think this thing is gonna look super sick once we are done with it and I kind of want to have a little bit of fun with it as far as the drifting goes now I am however gonna go with a turbocharger twin turbos to be specific I would have liked to go with a single turbo but you know sometimes you get what you get with Forza and uh, we're gonna go with the twin turbo in this case now as far as the front bumper goes let's go ahead and check oh man that thing is just that's I don't know that's a little too aggressive I never thought that I would say that but that is n just not for me man uh, so it looks like for the outside we're probably gonna be pretty much stock as far as our body kit and bumper goes now with the wheels I do want to put a nice race tire compound now like I did say I was gonna drift this thing but once I'm done drifting it, slamming it, stancing it, chances are I'm probably going to make it a pretty square setup and then take it out and race it. Now, I do have my specific cars that I do for drag racing. So, really, I'd just be racing it, doing like little races offline, maybe online, but I don't know. When it comes to racing online, I just, people are dicks man they are constantly running into you and making you screw up so i don't know man i don't do too much of that but you never know sometimes i get into the field i i'm a big drag racer i'm not even gonna lie man that is really what i get down with when i am online uh just drag racing all day now i do see one selection that did pop out at me and that is these nice uh what are these things anyways man Fi fix fixie the Fixie Profile 5S's, man, those are looking nice. Got a little bit of a lip on here, and I think uh, once we paint those the appropriate color, they're going to look real nice. Let's boost that wheel size up to a 20-inch. Just make it look nice and sexy with those low-profile pro tires up on here. As far as the clutch goes, we are going to fully upgrade that. Transmission's definitely going to get upgraded. Let's do the drive line. I typically don't because it doesn't really do anything for your uh, performance points and it costs money so normally I'd skip that but what the hell let's go ahead and do that today um, as far as the brakes go we always upgrade the brakes it's just something that you have to do in this game or you'll be all over the road now let's see completely lifted 4x4 donk nah not today son uh, we're gonna put in those race springs and dampers here 
uh, any roll bars front and back and I think I'm going to go ahead and leave the weight the way that it is even though this is typically going to be a heavy car I still want it to be sort of a street setup um, nothing too race car-ish now already we are looking good in the S1 class so what I'm going to do is just put an intake and exhaust uh, jump over here upgrade our turbos and see if I can max this thing out around uh, 899 now normally uh, I like to keep the performance points obviously in the highest number of that class now as you guys can see we are in s1 class let's drop some cams on here 890 that's going to be pretty much where i would typically want to be if i was racing other guys in this class now obviously when you get online people you know they're using good cars mostly tuned that's normally where I find my uh, downside is, is with my tunes. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm not the most in-depth tuner. As you guys know, I'll show you basically what I do is I just get into the gearing here, kind of do, a, as you can see, the simulation over here. I try to get a half decent top speed, like what, 320, 3, 360. That's, uh, that's, that's great actually. Um, for this one though, we are going to be slamming, we are going to be stancing. Now, I'm only going to be doing this for this video, and then like I say, I'll probably get, get, like be squaring it up, making it look appropriate. Now, as far as the differential, acceleration is going 100% to the rear end, because I want this thing to be able to drift like a madman. So next up, you guys know we have to jump into the designs and paints. And what I'm thinking is we're going to slightly alter this red color here. And I don't think we're going to be able to change the manufacturer color. So we're just going to go ahead and select a normal red here and maybe just make it look a little bit different. Like I kind of like the way that the, the red is very bright here. But let's see if we can make a custom color. Let's see, brightness, a little bit of a blood red here. That's looking pretty good. What do you guys think of that? Let's go ahead and try that for now. Um, the hood, I'm going to leave the way that it is. The wheels, I'm not really sure. I want it to go either black or white on this one. I am a big fan of the white. Maybe a gunmetal would look pretty nice. Let's see here. The gray, the gunmetal gray. Let's go ahead and put on the gunmetal gray. Now, I was going to put the white on there, but I mean, I have a funny feeling this thing looks kind of like an undercover cop with the black wheels. No? No? What do you guys think? Not really, I guess. I mean, there's really no no police that are using these cars yet in, uh, in the real world. I... I foresee maybe in a couple of years once they steal that contract away from Ford now that the Crown Victoria is gone really the only options are going to be this or Challenger or Charger I should say so that could definitely be a car that you could have to look out for in the future luckily right now um, it's not still mostly Crown Victorias out there on the road in uh, Canada and I mean I I'm guessing the states. I'm noticing a lot more chargers nowadays, though. Uh, with the, they have, they got the like the the LED light package on the back, like the factory. I forget what they call it, the track lighting or whatever. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I, it's kind of a weird option to have on a cop car, but I mean, it definitely helps you spot them quite a bit. If you ever come up on a charger with those. LED lights going across the back there's a 50 50 chance that it could be a cop so yeah just a little word of advice from your boy Don Squally here as you guys can see we are just gonna vinyl the roof here you guys know I just I love a black roof on any color car really and also the front splitter or valence here I'm just gonna go ahead black that up let's go ahead and Give it the old one, two with the vinyl like that. Yes, man. You know, just the small things that really set it off. Is that that's all that I'm after. Nothing too crazy. Just a little bit of a 
little bit of uniqueness and subtlety to the build. <laughs> but with that being said, I think we covered all the bases, man. It is time to take this thing out on the street, see what it's all about. Now, I just want to get a nice 360 view here before we get started. Really wish we could delete those chrome accents. Really wish we could delete those chrome accents, but hey, man, maybe in Forza 7. You guys know how we do it. Um, sounds nice, healthy. Obviously not a maxed out build. Interior, typical Chevy fashion. Looks like a Chevy Cruze, to be honest. We're going to get back outside here. Let's do a little bit of a drifty session around the festival here. Now, right off of the bat, one thing I'm noticing is this thing is heavy, man. As soon as it gets sideways, the momentum just keeps the whole car sliding. Maybe we should have gone for a slight weight reduction. Because I can for sure feel this car, how sluggish and heavy it is. Let's get it out on the road, do a little bit of a launch here. Now, I had somebody laugh at me because I was doing a red line launch. But all right, let's launch it at like a decent RPM. It just isn't fun when you're doing it at like three, four grand. And we are off. Very impressive, actually. I think at this weight, like in this weight class and this form right now, I think this car would be more of a straight line um, slash racer as opposed to a drifter because it just carries the momentum too much through the turns. Oh man, didn't even see that guy coming over that, that hill there. It's dangerous stuff. But other than that, I mean, the thing pulls good. It feels like it has a lot of power. The engine sounds healthy. It doesn't pop. It actually spins the wheels. Oh, what is it? it looks like a little... I thought that was a car towing a trailer for a second. Um, it spins the wheels actually in the high RPMs. Lots of torque. Let's see how it handles some of these jungle turns here. Oh, man. Ferrari, buds. You just, you just wrecked my video, man. All right. Proceeding once again. Let's see how she takes some of the turns here. It's, I can't get over that noise, man. It sounds so good. That downshift. Big old flame coming out the back here. We're not going to follow those guys off-road. Look at that nice rock mountain there. Oh, off the road. Easy, Squally. Checking out the scenery, man. Oh! And we come whipping around that little... <laughs> A little Mini Cooper. See ya, boss. You know, I think it just took a little bit of getting used to. Oh, damn. That guy messed up my drift. Now that I'm ripping around in it, it, it's actually not that hard to control. As you can see, it just takes the drift super wide. Like, there's, there is a little too much weight in this thing. It is a pig, I'm not going to lie. Not sure. I'm, these things got to be weighing in at close to 4,000 pounds. Definitely has the motor to pull it, but just when you get sliding, it definitely doesn't work properly. I mean, it looks absolutely aggressive. That hood has that hood has so many lines in it. It's just when you go side to side, it's ah, like a cut diamond, man. It looks amazing. We just wrecked that guy's day right there. Look, look, should we go in the water? Can we go in the water? Yeah, yeah, we can. Go ahead and do that. Ah, why not, man? Spruce things up just a little bit. Just a little bit. I love this black bumper on the back. Really matches the top hood and the front. Just perfectly. That motor is an absolute beast, man. What is this, an LS7 in here? LSX motor, maybe? No, it couldn't be an LSX. I'm sure I'm sure they would save that for the vet. Most definitely. Got to be an LS7. Maybe an L... Nah, got to be an LS7. Is an LS7 supercharged? I really don't know my LS motors, man. I'm, uh, I'm a noob when it comes to these Chevy motors nowadays. 
Used to have an Impala back in the day, an old uh, 3.8 liter. So back then my knowledge would have been a little better, but uh, not nowadays, man. You guys know me, I'm a big Infinity buff right now, but uh, we doing it for the gram. Actually, no, for YouTube, but uh, you guys know how it goes. So with that being said, I'm thinking this is probably going to be a wrap for this one. As always, if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more. Don't forget to drop a request down in the comment section. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking that's about it. So as always, I am your boy, D Nolly, a.k.a. Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And we're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Oh, oh, no. Oh, for fuck's sake, every fucking time. I had a V8, yeah? Oh, oh! Recovery of a lifetime! Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Oh! Fuck! Yeah, just keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the racer anymore.